Hello, my beautiful fragrance family. Dustin here, fragrance fan. And before we get started, go ahead and do me a solid and click that like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you know every time I upload some new content. And for those of you who already support my channel, thank you guys so much for helping me with what I do because I'm just going to keep on bringing you guys these budget friendly fragrance reviews, that 40 ish and under dollar range, and a majority of those you can find for a lot less than that. And a good chunk of those you can pick up at your local rack stores for a reasonable price. And the house I'm talking about today, you don't really hear discussed too often, and it does appear from time to time at your local rack stores. Forgive me if I pronounce this wrong, but I'm talking about Faconables Royale. Love Gradient. This one has that blue to dark gradient. You can see it says Royale and a shinier finish on this matte finish, and the cap is like aluminum can 50 gauge thin with plastic inside of it, clicks into place decent. You can see the rope snapped right off like it was dry rot when I first got it, and whatever. The atomizer is marginally better than average. I do like how fine the mist is and sprays decent. So in this one, the color of the bottle does not lead you astray. It is very appropriate for the scent profile of this fragrance. And by that, I mean this is a blue fragrance. What that means is this is an aquatic, citrusy type of a fragrance. It leans a little bit youthful, not too sweet and youthful, that most age groups can't enjoy this, but it does have some sweetness to it. Up in the top, there's lavender and bergamot, as is pretty typical in blue fragrances. In the heart of this, there's geranium, nutmeg, and sea notes. In the base, you're going to get your cedar, your oak moss, your tonka bean, and there's one other sandalwood. The sandalwood and the tonka bean give this thing a creaminess from the beginning to the end. It stays pretty creamy. This thing doesn't change a whole lot through the longevity of it. It is a little bit brighter. It is a little bit sharper up top. Not necessarily sharp, but crisper up top with that bergamot. Um, and as the mid and the dry down starts happening, this gets a little bit sweeter. The lavender, I think, kind of muffles down the bergamot, because bergamot can sometimes be really bright, but I think the lavender just tones it down just, just enough to keep this thing real mild. A lot of people say they get great performance and great projection. I don't get either one of those. I get maybe average on both. And occasions to wear this are pretty much any. It's not necessarily a dressed up fragrance, you might be able to get away with it, but it's a little bit more playful than that. It's not really a classy style of fragrance. This is more of a daytime, even evening type wear. Summer, winter, not necessarily winter, summer, spring, fall. It's pretty good year round for the most part. Not necessarily that super cold, but it's a pretty universal fragrance. I do like the way this smells. I've spent, spent plenty of time with this thing. It got me two compliments today, actually woman at the store I was buying something a fragrance and she was like wow this smells really good I was like no that's actually the one I'm wearing you're not smelling that through the box I'm sorry but that's this and you know even though all that is happening I give this a five and a half which isn't a bad rating it means it's slightly above average the reason why I don't give it a whole lot more is because on me the performance isn't that great and it does smell a lot like other fragrances Playboy make the cover which is cheaper but it's a little bit spicier than this. It's a little bit sweeter. It smells like, uh, it's, it's in that Ambroxan type of a blue fragrance. It can be redundant if you have a lot of blue fragrances. So if you do, you might not want this one, but if you don't, go ahead and pick it up. It's 20 bucks. It's not bad. It's hard not to really like this thing. So with that, I'm out. Y'all be blessed. Take care of yourself always. And until next time.